Oh. One is good, fixed. Perfect. Good day, fellow Russians. Let's work on some displays. So, I don't know how this shows up on camera because they're always strobing, but what I'm doing is I've got a bunch of displays in here. They all have issues. So, for example, this one is missing that line right across. You see it on the zero. This one's missing that. And it's also, well, it's just kind of weird. Uh, this one I call it weak and strobing. And this one is weak and strobing as well. If you move the, see it kind of flickering off. And then this one is missing the two digits. So there's a variety of issues going on with the displays and we're gonna to try to fix them. I'll put them back in the game and see if they're working. First thing you need to do is you gotta make sure this connector here is repinned. Every one of them, because this is where, uh, from what I understand, the board sends its signals through here. I'll, I'll show you which one's on a schematic, which actually send the information to each one of the displays. If you've got a display, for example, that on every one, let's say this digit is missing on every one, it could very well be the connector that I'm showing you, but it could also be a break in the line here. So let me just set this up here. It could be a break uh, in um, the, the display connector because these are daisy chain. They go from display, 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 and they end out here. So if you come in here, there's two wires, two wires, two wires, two wires, and then one wire. So if this one is good, but this one and this one are exhibiting the same issue down the chain, could be a wire break. That happens, but nine times out of 10, that's where you start, you bulletproof that, it'll make your life a little easier. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna bring you to the workbench. And you know which ones I'm gonna tackle? Oh, this one came back to life, so I think I know what the issues with that one is and that one that says weak strobing. So let's have a look at those first, and then we'll start, start tackling some of the ones up here. It might be a bit more difficult. And hey, hopefully out of five, if we can get three working, that'd be fantastic. This one, for example, if I can get this working, even if I can't get that digit to work, you could use this for a, for a credit, you know, because the credits on these things, it's only, you only see four digits, right? So you only need the first two space and last two working. So this one would be perfect. Uh, this one, no, because this you need this one working and <laughs> that one working. So that wouldn't work for a display. But anyways, we can be creative like that. So let's bring you to the workbench and bring you back. Okay, real quick with the schematics. So if we look at the MPU control, it shows here display segment, data, display latch strobe, but I'm looking at the pins that, the th that these things go to, 25, 26, 27, 28, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's the 20s and the 10, the high 20s and the 10, that it's referring to from here. So it's A4, uh, that's the, 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 what I was showing you, here's J1, and then here's the upper one. So everything here, goes back to the display so watch a1 j1-19 there's a1 they're all j1 and then line number 19 and then this is where the signal uh, comes in from the mpu to feed the informations here the difference here 31 72 67 18 that's the wire color color and that's what uh, designates whether it's uh, it's player one display, player two display, player three, player four, and then the credit display. Okay, so now forget about the theory, that's all got. Let's start working on the actual display. So I pulled this one, just an example, and I wanna show you. I'm gonna say a good 
seven out of every 10 times I work on a display that's not working, problem is cold solder joints right here. Okay, so I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this one here is broken. It's got, yeah, you can see it right there. See how it's got that little halo around it? It's actually broken. So the pin comes up and it's not touching uh, the, the rest of the solder because it's broken here. Okay, and it's also evident on, where else can we see? Uh, right here broken right there as well uh, and this one's not too bad I've seen some where they're you know completely broken and typically with these it's the outer ends that break because what happens is when you pop a display in it flexes like you, you push you push the wiring harness down on it and when you push it down watch it flexes the board and this flexing loves to break especially the outer pins out and case in point, uh, let's look at one of the ones that I had labeled as works weak. It says weak and strobe. Well, lo and behold, someone's been here before. And look what has happened or what they've done. So they've, the pin is broken. The trace is completely broken. Okay. So they used a wire to go from, to, to put the trace to trace to, um, make it continuous but what they didn't do is here they didn't attach it here because this trace also comes down i'm just looking okay so i have a feeling i'm gonna solder this in place and that should fix it because it's making it continuous but i'm also going to double check to make sure we don't have any more broken solder joints okay so this is going to get done for whatever reason yeah this this is missing solder so that doesn't help the cause. So I'm going to reflow the solder on these. Okay, now same thing here. Uh, again, I'm not using the schematic. I'm, I'm just kind of doing some visuals here. Yeah, someone's been here before as well because that's been soldered. These ones have not. Ah, but look at this. <laughs> that's why it was working sometimes and not, I guess. Uh, it's broken through, the pin is broken through, and it's, the trace is completely shut. So if I scrape back this green, and see it's different than the other one. The other one, uh, um, different manufacturers, I guess, different screening. Uh, but if I uh, attach a solder from here to here, it should fix this one as well. And I'm also going to re-solder these to, just to make sure. Now, it is good best practice when you do reflow the solder. Um, just as a just as a maintenance more than anything make sure you you kind of take pictures or take notes uh, that some of these are actually joined together so these three are joined together these two are joined together uh, so if you were to perhaps suck out the solder and replace the headers for example and you go to re-solder everything if you don't um, solder them properly uh, well they're obviously not going to work and also of significance is make sure you obviously don't uh, bridge solder where it's not supposed to be bridged, but make sure you clean up your work. So what I mean by that is uh, you're going to get some solder splash and stuff between these things. So you want to make sure you clean them out. I think you can see what I'm doing here. Just to make sure that none of this... Okay, see these, these are joined together even though they might show separate. But you want to make sure that none of this stuff is uh, making it so that there's a short here. Is, this is going to be a good example right here. I think you can see it. Watch this. See that? These should not be touching. So that could be causing some grief as well. So make sure that uh, they're clean. They're not touching with dirt or anything okay so let me get back into it I'm just gonna solder up these spots and I'll bring you back
and this one's fixed perfectly. There's no strobing. It looks like it's strobing just because of the, uh, just the effect with the camera. But this one's not weak or strobing, but we just lost a digit. So I'm gonna move this from here. Uh, I'm gonna put it back to where it was before, and if it fixes it, we probably have uh, an issue with the line somewhere, so. Let me just do that. Actually, we're gonna do it live. I don't have anywhere to put you, that's the problem. Okay, I'll hold you. Let's put you right here. So we're taking it out of here. And we're grabbing from the connector, right? Put it here. Let's turn it on. By the way, the game's gonna behave kind of differently because I have a Evil Knievel run. In a power plane, you can hear it's a little uh, weaker. All right, let's go into, oh, okay. So we have a problem with this display, I'm guessing. This one's completely out, but this one's working fine. Okay, yeah, it's missing here. All right, so let's look into that. That little glow there tells me there's some life. All right, one fixed, which is this one. All right, let's go to a site that I've uh, used in the past that helps me uh, fix these things. Uh, Steve Kulpa. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I've read about him, legend guy. Don't know him. If I meet him, I'd buy him a beer, that's for sure. But his site got hijacked, so you got to go to the Wayback Machine and you got to find it that way. So it's stevekulpa.net. Uh, and then when you get into his site, he does a fantastic job of describing what each one of these little things does inside a game so he is saying that so let's go down to it it gives you the theory talks about uh, displays and stuff like that so what he is saying is that okay if you have one display and it's missing the same segments on all digits then you replace the segment driver so mps a42 now on this one now this hopefully will work because it's, uh, I think it's a Stern, but they're usually the same. We'll try it out. Uh, it's missing the F segment. So the digit here. I don't know if you remember when we had it all. So I said missing all. So it's saying replace the Q18. So let's go over to the test bench and see if we can figure out which one Q18 is on this and i'm pretty sure i have these in stock so let me bring you over there okay here's q18 and i just checked it on a bally because it is a stern and it's in pretty well the same spot so hopefully it should be okay so i'm going to suck this out i'm going to use my hacko desolder might as well i have the tool oh look at this oh, wait a minute this might change things Isn't that interesting? Okay, it's separated from the line. I think you can see it right here. Yeah, you can see that, I hope. Let me see if I can, yeah, I can move you on. So look, the line is broken. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna scrape back the solder mask and just solder it and see if that's gonna fix it. Okay. 
All right, let's put you back in the game, see what happens. Okay, let's see. Hey, look at that. Okay, remember this one was missing that line there? Let me go to display test. Beauty. Well, not yet. There we go. We'll see it on the eight. Perfect. Okay, fix another one. I think the camera picks it up, but this one's burned really badly. So what we're going to do, like, look at this. We take this glass and graft it onto this body. This one's showing these two not working. This was the player one display from the beginning of the video. I couldn't fix it. I tried everything with Kupla's site, resistor, so on and so forth. So we're just going to change the glass. Okay, here's the one that's not working. Those two displays are out. But all the numbers are nice and crisp. Hopefully these ones will come back. And I'm pretty sure that they will because if I spin it around, you can see a bunch of stuff has already been going on with this one. So I think it's a good chance I'm willing to take. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my Hako. I'm gonna suck out. Can you guys see here? Yeah, okay. Good old tackle. This one, they go relatively quick. I've done a few. Okay, and then we do the same to the donor board, so you can see this one, it's got all these burn marks in it, right? screws here and pop up the glass okay so this is now garbage okay this is what we need. I'm just going to clean these up with my fiberglass pen. Okay, so I'm just going to clean all that up. I'll do it off camera. I'll actually do it over the sink so that it catches any fibers and uh, we don't end up breathing them in. Get rid of this. Straighten these out. It's like the chips when they install them, they bend the legs over. And they could be just sticking on a little bit with some solder. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So this, I'm not going to throw it out. I'm actually going to harvest that chip and just hold on to it. Like I can reuse these resistors, obviously I put these in and same with those transistors, but for now it goes in a pile. And what I'm going to do 
is now I got to straighten out all these little tines here. I just use a set of pliers. Okay, all right, now, gonna get a second set of hands here. Okay, so what I have it is I have it set up like this, but if you look at this one here, it's just barely peeking above the surface. And the same with this one here. Looks like they were cut too short, because what I have to do is now take the good display and line these all up. Funny, you just feel it when it happens and boom they all fall into place and trust me that was not uh, the first attempt I think I must have tried it ten times and I edited the video just so uh, right, I could save you guys easy. Okay, I'm just gonna solder like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm gonna put it on its side. This is gonna be tricky. These ones are barely just touching the surface, so I'll have to spend some more time on those. do the ones that I can so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so it's gonna be in the problem too. You can't see it. And I don't know if you can see this one. We can just barely make out the tip. This one we can't see, so I think I'm going to have to put a stitch in there. So, here, let's see. Okay, that's better. I got some glow. Ah, test, bingo. Oh, what's this? That wasn't there before. You know what that could be, ladies and gentlemen? It could be one of these things not making contact. So let me investigate. I think it was this one that I was barely touching. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a stitch. Okay, so let me grab a resistor. And we're going to get it to touch. You can see that, right? See the dial there? Okay, I'm going to solder it. OK, 
Okay. Now we're going to cut it. Okay. We're going to do the same over here. Perfect. Okay, let's cut it off. And we still got a good diode. Now let's try to do some surgery here. All right, so there, there you can see. It. Oh, you got a, actually you got a pretty good view right there. And try to, you know, let's get some uh, juice on it. See if we can uh, get them to get married a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to solder this way down, so gravity is going to help us out a little bit. There you can see, okay good. Hopefully this is sticking. All right, if this doesn't do it, then, oh well, c'est la vie, I guess. Let's see what happens. Okay, the glow is good. One is good, fixed. Perfect. Okay. What do y'all think about that, eh? Nice, crisp display. And you can see the right there. And I'm gonna turn the light on here. The stitch right there. And that's a that's a beautiful display. What a beautiful thing. Putter along. Russians, like, share, subscribe. Uh, long video, but you know what? A again, it's it's not the money. It's easy enough to buy new ones, but where's the fun in that, right? So Rush fan, over and out.